Okay, right. I've got your shots from right from the on my yeah, yeah. laptop. Okay. Okay. Um, so, um, right. So, what is it you wanted to run by me before we speak to the agent? Um. Well, he's uh, apparently uh, two weeks ago had an offer from uh, a woman for. 590, but since then she hasn't bothered um, proceeding with uh, lawyers' details or mortgage details and just seems to be uh, stalling, hasn't actually gone any further. He, um, he um, would actually, uh, obviously, he doesn't know that we're going to attempt to do delay completion, but mm -hmm. obviously, he's, um, um, he's of the opinion he'd rather sell it um, to ourselves. Because um, obviously uh, it's some um, cash and, um, and and no chain and uh, moving forward straight away. All right. Look, let me just grab a pen and paper and calculator. So I've got. Um, can I use one of these pads? Is that all right? Just one pen. Take one page out. Let me You've arranged the agents called Bain on half past, yeah? Half past, yes. Yeah, okay. All right, so look, when, when I'm talking to him, you're probably going to think I'm going around in circles a bit, but I'm going to take you around in circles. Um, and I'm going to talk about the buy sell costs. Can you hear me all right? Can you? Yeah, can you hear me all right? Uh, okay, all right. So yeah, I'm going to talk to him about doing it traditionally. If we bought it for five ninety, what we're doing, the the stamp duty cost, all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So what I'm going to ask you what the stamp duty is going to be um, when we're talking to him. So can you jump on the stamp duty calculator on the internet and just work out with the extra three percent what this would be stamp duty wise? So I can work out the calculation. Yeah, I, I, I think it's uh, a percentage of 6.30, I must admit, possibly, so 5.30, I think, but... Yeah, well, let's, let's look, yeah, just tell, you can, you can do it when we start on the conversation with him, yeah? Yeah. If you just do it, when I get to that point, if you can just say, yeah, the stamp duty is this, if we buy that. And then I can show him that it just doesn't work as a buy to upsell. Yeah. Um, and then, but I can say, but hey, however, if we do it like this, uh, the profit's going to be, and I think we worked it out to be 150 grand. And we, you know, potentially you can take 100 on your 100 and you can give the vendor an extra 50 on top of the 590 offer. Really? <laughs> so you can offer them 25% of the profit, which is about, what, 30? Uh, about 35 grand. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But what I'm doing is offering them 50 grand of the profit, but dropping the price from 620 to 590. So in effect, all they're doing is getting an extra 20 grand. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, yeah, see, yeah. you see why I'm doing it like that, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I see exactly. Um, he thinks... Um, he thinks um, it'll be worth... But eight eight fifty when it's finished. Right, okay, because I ran off of eight eighty before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that eight hundred instead of eight eighty kind of makes a big difference. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Um yeah. Yeah, the it's five percent. Stamp duty. Yeah, but I, I need to know the. I just need to know the stamp duty. So if you do the stamp duty calculator, it'll give you the exact amount. Yeah, it's eight eight percent at five hundred ninety thousand. Yeah, but that's only of a bracket of it. It's not overall. 
Oh, so the, so the first 125,000 yeah. is so, so, zero. Yeah, so, well, just do the stamp duty calculator, but it's all got the 3% on top of it. So that's why it's just easier to put it in the stamp duty calculator that you can Google and say stamp duty calculator. Ah, uh, right, I get you. Yeah. I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. we can give yeah, them an yeah. exact figure, and then I can work. And, you know, when I go, okay, if we buy this, we pay the stamp, and we pay the mortgage, and we pay this, um, there's no money left in it at all. Yeah, uh, yeah. However, if we do it like this, there's 150 less 80, so um, there's seven. You've got 70 grand in it, so you're not going to really be able to offer them um, much of a profit. But you know, it's one way of them selling it. Probably, maybe we ought to just go in at 600 and take it from there. Right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously, what, what I'm uh, what I'm uh, going to uh, try and sell him on. Is the fact that while this lockdown carries on, that the builder can come in and do all the work, so that by the yeah. time it's done, it'll be far more saleable than it is now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, he's um, he's got a load of other. Um, um, Let's not complicate it with other deals, but if he's... no, 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 he's. He, I think he's keen because he's got a load of other. Um, stuff coming onto the market that uh, was quite happy to give me first refusal on. So. Okay, well, if he buys into what we're doing, yeah, that's, right. that's cool, but we've got to get him to buy into what we're doing. I agree. All right, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, okay. So right, it's, it's 4.30 now, so let's... Um, no, what, 4.30? What's 4.30? The time. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so he's yeah, so do, do you want to jump off the phone and then add me to his? He'll add me to the call, yeah. He will do. He All will. Right. I'll, All I'll right. hear his call coming in, uh, even, that it's, even if we're speaking. So, so. All right. Okay. Um, the, um, obviously, if this proceeds, um, I, I don't have the money for it at the moment. Sure. So. Well, let's talk about that afterwards because. Like I always say to all my clients, we we'll hold a torch for you for three steps ahead of yourself, <laughs> and uh, so let's get so. let's get yeah, the, yeah. let's get the deal sorted and agreed, and then yeah. worry about the money afterwards because the money will always be there. Although yeah. because it is tight and it's not the numbers that we thought it was going to be, it, it might be because that's going to dilute the profit even more. Might not be quite so profitable. I don't like doing these with at least a hundred grand in them. Um, yeah. But let's let's work out the numbers with him and let's see where we go. All right, so I'll, speak, yeah. I'll speak to you in a minute. Hello. <laughs> it is indeed. Hi. I am indeed. I love it when I love it when tech. I love it when technology works. Sorry, did you say your name is Stuart? Ah, uh, hi, Stuart. Yeah, okay. Um, so, I think... so, what can I do for you guys? Obviously, we're talking about one three nine lines lane. Yes, correct. Um, I, th I think um, Justin's had a conversation with you, and uh, just to clarify, we're looking at. Uh, if, have you got the floor plan handy? Um, I can get hold of it. Yeah. <laughs> no, Stuart, I can email it to you. Yeah, I've got the uh, I've got the floor plan in front of me. I'm just opening up now, but it's really incredibly slowly. Um, yeah, well, I've got the floor plan here. Yeah. Okay, so <clears throat> what we're looking at doing is, if you go to the upstairs on the landing, <clears throat> there's a cupboard yeah. and wardrobes in between bedroom three and four. Yeah. We're basically going to go use that as an extended corridor. Yeah, it's a natural way to go through, isn't it? Yeah, and then build um, over the top of the double garage and over the top of the utility mm -hmm. and create a fifth bedroom, which will become the master bedroom with an, with an ensuite over the utility room. Yeah, makes sense, yeah. Um, we've had a quote of doing that of 45 grand. Right, okay, okay. Okay. Um, now, are you near the internet at the moment? 
you, are you on, can you go on to right move? Um, I should be able to. It's running a little bit slow, but I'll just do that now. Wait. So what, <laughs> what we're doing is we're going to create, um, knock the kitchen and dining area into one bigger area. Yeah, and that's what everyone wants nowadays. That's the right thing to yeah. do. Yeah. And then put bifolds across the two. So we'd need a big, what they call a tea steel across the, right across the kitchen, dining room, over the top of the bifold, and then across where the wall is at the moment, if it's a load bearing wall in between the kitchen and dining room. Yeah, okay. I'm not yeah, sure yeah, whether that's, yeah. it's probably, may or may not be load bearing, but um, so it's either going to need just a steel or a tea steel. Um, are you on the right move now? If, if you put MK16 yep. 9 November Quebec, the only reason I'm doing this is so you get an idea because I do the standard kitchen design in all the properties that I do. Okay. No, MQ. November, Quebec, yeah. And MK, Mike, yeah? Yes. Okay, I've got anything coming up. Is it sold already? It is sold, yeah. Well, that would be why, just a second. Um, so, yeah, it's just to give you a feel for what we'll do to the kitchen. Yeah. No, that looks good. That looks great. That's absolutely fantastic. Okay, and you also get the feel of the bifold doors and everything. Um, I think everything else just needs a light, light refurb. You know, we'll put. It does. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite. Yeah, I, I think it's quite an easy refurb. Job yeah, really. it's nothing. Um, all, all in all, I think um, the kitchen and dining will have light down lights, and the lounge will have dark down lights. Um, yeah. And then it's just a matter of um, skimming the ceilings, putting in perhaps new doors and new handles and new lights, which is chrome. All, all that type of stuff, just to bring it into, because it is a little yeah. bit 80s, isn't it? Oh, very much. Well, not a little bit, completely. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, yeah, I, I'm thinking that we're probably going to spend 45 grand on the extension, around 30 grand on the kitchen in total, because it will be fairly high spec. Right. Um, and all in all, we'll be spending about 100 total. So I think Justin spoke to you about the end price when we've done that because it's I mean it's on a nice plot that justifies it. It really is a fantastic plot, and um, I think that's if it wasn't on the size of what I think we would have bigger problems. Um, yeah, achieving the price that Justin and I have spoken about, but on that plot, I think you know any different could be at all. Yeah. So um, you you seem to think somewhere around the eight hundred it would achieve when we done the work, yeah. Near eight and a half, actually. Okay. I'm, 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 I'm trusting you to tidy up the whole of the front appearance anyway. Yeah, as well. of course. Yeah, okay. All right. And normally, your, your stone's not good looking. No, yeah, I think, I think that's why I like showing you that kitchen because it gives you yeah. more of a feel and gives you a good feel. Okay, so look, um, the, the problem is we have with properties in this price bracket is the funding cost and the stamp mm -hmm. duty. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we've been doing a lot of is like JV agreements with owners where we do all of the work. We exchange contracts um, just so we put it on an assignable contract and yep. we go in and do the work. And then this way you actually get paid twice. So um, as soon as we've done the work, you then remarket it and probably sell it quicker than selling it now. Mm -hmm. Um, and look, we've spoken to our builders and the builders can actually start work. We, we can get this exchange within seven days. Our solicitors are still working. Yeah, okay. And the builders can start fairly soon. So we could get this turned around ready for when we come out of lockdown. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you'll have a nice shiny new house ready to market. That sounds good. 
Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'll have to... It depends whether the vendor solicitor goes with it as well. Obviously. Yeah, I mean, the vendor solicitors are quite often... If they're old school, they tend mm-hmm. not to like this type of thing. And if they're just conveyancing solicitors, but if they're actually um, commercial-minded solicitors, then they'll take the time and effort that it takes to come up with a contract to protect the vendor. And yes. it's what we normally do is we normally give the vendor a share of the uplift mm-hmm. on top of the purchase price. Okay, so yeah. So potentially if you know we agreed a price at five ninety on this basis, um, they could end up getting the six twenty, maybe even a little bit more than that by the time everything's done and dusted. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I I do find that the solicitors are sometimes the stopping point. But if you tell the vendors up front that if they've got an old fashioned stick in the mud estate, a solicitor, um, or just a conveyancing solicitor, and the words I use are that they won't go to the time and effort to come up with a contract that yeah, protects. Yeah, it's, it's Warner and Richardson in Winchester, so it's not a. Uh, Okay. A, a stupid one, based okay. it does depend on, on, on their view. Um, yeah, of course. Really. Yeah. I mean, if they talk to our solicitors, we've done quite a lot of these. Um, it, it's, it's, it's kind of, a, you can call it a delayed completion, you can call it a JV agreement. Um, but we, we fund the full refurb, um, you know, obviously make sure the builders are all insured and everything to do the work. Um, yeah. Um, just on the verge, I don't think we'll need um, a QS to manage this project. I think Justin will be able to do it. He's done similar um, with his roof conversion that he's done in his own house and stuff. So, yeah, the beauty of this is that we don't have to pay the stamp duty, so that leaves a lot more in it. So our total cost of doing that is your costs and a little bit of solicitor's cost. So our total cost is 20 grand. Yeah. Whereas I think, what's the stamp duty on that, Justin? What would it normally be? Uh, well, if it was purchased for a normal residential basis, it'd be nineteen and a half grand. Yes. Because it's not for own purchase. Own, uh, so it's got the extra three percent. You got seventeen thousand seven hundred on top. That yeah. brings it to thirty-seven thousand two hundred quid. Yeah. So which makes it in this price bracket almost impossible to do flips on higher end properties without doing them as a JV. Um, but, and, and, like, and like like I said, I think we can get this done and dusted for pretty much. Hold on, are you still there, Stuart? Yeah, I think we can get the exchange yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get the exchange done very quickly, and I think we can get the work done ready for when we come out of lockdown. We should be, we should be perfect, yes. Yeah. Um, what solicitors do you normally use, Glenn? Um, I've, I've got several, um, but. Uh, my client's lawyer wants to chat with your solicitors. Yeah. S- certainly, yeah, certainly can, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll get, I'll uh, get uh, Justin to email them with you, so I can have a quick. I think, I think Stuart's locked, dropped the. Uh, I think he's back again. Are you back again? Well, I'm back. I'm back. Uh, right. Yeah, I'll, I'll email Stuart my the solicitors that can use for this, um, and yeah, then they can talk to uh, their lawyers and talk them through how we do it. Okay, no problem at all. I'll, I'll get that over to Justin at some point today so he can forward it to you. Excellent stuff. All right, and let me have a word with, with the, uh, the vendors as well, and, and I'll come back to you guys as soon as I can. Yeah, okay. I think that's something we'd like to do for you, so. Okay, brilliant. I think um, if you let them know that it, we normally give them 25% of the uplift of the profit after costs. So if you're selling it for eight fifty and we've spent a hundred on it, you can, and there's about twenty grand of costs in doing it like this, you can kind of work out where the numbers are. Yeah, I'll do some. I'll do some before I speak to him. Yeah, okay. no, that's brilliant. No, I appreciate that, and it's, uh, it's, a good, it's a good way forward for the future as well, possibly. 
Good. All right, that's brilliant news. All right, I'll speak to you guys soon. All right, thanks, Joe. All right, cheers. Cheers, Bye.